Hey everybody, Rob Ferretti here at Jay's Garage in Englewood, New Jersey, which is right around the corner from my shop. Uh, I saw this car driving by, it caught my eye, I threw it up on Instagram, and they said I could drive it, which is good. Uh, the 993 market's incredibly hot right now, and I'm about to find out why. So let's go take it for a ride. All right, so the first thing I notice when I look around the car is there's some modern enhancements that didn't come on the 993. Uh, notably, this is a steering wheel out of a 996. This e-brake handle is either 996 or 997. A little carbon fiber, the radio is swapped. And then no most notably is the rear wing and then the wheels are off of a GT2. So there's a lot of little cosmetic upgrades to make this thing look a little cooler. And that's what I noticed when I first saw it. It looked more like a, uh, a GT2 or some sort of raw for tech art car. And it's very, very eye catching. That's probably one of the main things people look for in the cars. So I've always had a weird curiosity about the 993. Uh, the car market, in my opinion, is a huge bubble right now. The, one of the beginning cars of that bubble was the 993 Turbo, 95, 96 or 96, 97. I don't remember the years. 993 Turbos through the roof. They've doubled in value, some of them going even higher. Really crazy numbers. And in order for a car to sustain that and it not being a bubble, they've got to be A, limited production, B, low miles, and C, they have to be fun and desirable to drive. I mean, there's cars that just happen to go up because they're limited, but they suck to drive and that market really has to find the right type of rich guy. Drives as nice as a modern day Porsche. Nice throw on the shifter, nice clutch feel. A little heavy on the clutch for a, let's say a non big horsepower car, but you're not buying this car for big horsepower. This is just a C4S, it's a non-turbo version. This is the classic sort of doctor, dentist, go buy it and drive it to show your status, but you're a connoisseur, so you have to get a classy car, sports car purchase. going to say fast is the word I'd use for it. It's nice, it's linear, uh, it drives sort of like the NSX, maybe speed-wise probably equivalent to the NSX. You can go to Motor Trend and look up the magazine stats to see, but that's not why people are buying these cars. They're sopping these cars up because they're air-cooled, and I don't know why that is such a desirable trait. Uh, if air-cooled was such a desirable trait, you would think Porsche would have switched back over to that. It did not. So I think the liquid cooled cars are better driving, better performing, and they can handle a little bit more. But I do see the charm in these cars. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a good looking car. It's sort of nostalgic looking. It's from my childhood. Uh, and that's a big thing I think in the automotive bubble is that everybody seems to have more money. The, the car culture sort of built up in the 80s and 90s. And a lot of people my age, I'm 35, are starting to sop up the cars that were cool when they were kids. And there's more than enough people now making money that that drives the market up a little bit. But there has to be enough car behind that to substantiate it, otherwise they all become collector's items and nobody actually drives them. The Porsches are known for reliability. I like this. I, I, don't, I don't know if I would go out and spend $150,000 on one, but if the market holds and these, these prices stay, it's not the worst thing to do. So just the overall thoughts, it's essentially it's a nostalgic feeling car, just the analog gauges. The look of it is modern enough to keep pace at a car show, so to speak. It's not like who's the guy in the old Porsche. It's a cool looking car that everyone's going to go up to. It's fun to drive and in true Porsche fashion, you know you could take this on a road trip and the thing's not going to crap out on you. So you know you have a reliable car that's good looking, nostalgic, fun to drive. It hits all the numbers that you're looking for. The question is, is it worth $80,000 to you? That's up to you. If you check out the link below, you can see the details as to the car, the modifications, and if you're interested in buying it, reach out to Jay's Garage. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed driving this 993 as much, or watching me drive this 993 as much as I'm enjoying driving it. Catch you next time.